Hi, I'm Joanne Blue, and today I'm at the Verve Girl headquarters, and I'm here to show you how to use Duck Brand duct tape to make your very own unique creations. So today, I'm going to show you how to make an ultra hip accessory, the bib necklace. Now to make the bib necklace, you're going to need a few materials. The first thing you're going to need is duck brand duct tape in various colors and patterns. You'll need a marker or pen, scissors of course, thread and needles, and for a little bling you'll need either some rhinestones or beads. So for step one, what you're going to do is take a piece of duct tape, measure it to 20 inches, fold it in half, and then cut it in half again. So it's eventually going to look like this. This is going to be the strap of your necklace. For step two, you're going to need to make some duck brand duct tape fabric. To do this, you're going to pick three different colors or patterns of duck brand duct tape. Take the first strip and you're going to cut it and lay it down on a flat surface, sticky side up. Once you've done that, you're going to repeat the first step, laying down the duct tape on the sticky one, but just try and overlap it just a little bit. So once you've done your desired size, you're going to repeat those steps, but you're going to put the duct tape face down onto the sticky side. So the desired look would be something like this. For step three, you're going to grab your marker or pen, and you're going to draw the shape that you would like to draw. I chose a flower, just because it's really cute. So you're going to draw the flower on your duct tape fabric. This one isn't going to look nearly as good as the first ones I drew, but this just gives you an idea. So once you've got the flower drawn, you're going to use your scissors and cut it out. And once it's cut out, it's going to look something like this. Don't worry about the marker that's showing because that's going to be the back of your necklace. So step four, you're going to take all of these little flowers that you've cut out. Now for this pattern, it requires that you have ten big flowers and four little flowers. But feel free when you're making your own necklace to make any sizes that you wish and any colors that you wish, because you want to make this necklace uniquely your own. And if you're making it for prom, try and make it to match your dress. So once you have the flowers cut out, you're going to tape them together on the back. Don't worry about what it looks like, because remember, it's going to be the back of the necklace and no one's going to see it. But remember to keep the marker side as the back. So eventually, once that's done, you're going to have pieces that look like this. As you can see, the back's taped, but nobody's going to see this. Once all of your flowers are stuck together, it's going to create the bib. That's when the next step comes into play. And what you're going to do is take the strap that you created at the beginning and tape it to the back of the bib. So it'll look like this. So there you have it, your own very unique bib necklace. Every year, Duck Brand Duct Tape hosts a design contest called Stuck at Prom, where entrants are asked to submit photos of themselves sporting outfits completely made out of duct tape for a chance to win a cash sponsorship prize of up to $5,000. And this year, a new category has been added, Best Accessory. And this can include the bib necklace we just learned how to make, corsages, rings, shoes, ties, and any other accessories that you can think of. For official rules, check out stuckatprom.com and while you're there, be sure to check out the photo gallery to see previous winners and other submissions.